Hey guys, we're back. This is the Phoenix. And the Shweeby. And I have no idea where we're going next. Yay, that's the fun part. <laughs> All right, now seriously, where are we going? Hold on, I think I gotta go talk to somebody in here for them to give me an idea of where to go next. Oh, well good for you. I would hope so. Mario, if there's a star that you're looking for, I may go. be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day, and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. <laughs> Not for long. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. Alright, well, that was simple enough. Right? I, I both appreciate and dislike <clears throat> when games do that. Where you have to talk to someone in order to progress, even if you already know where you need to go. And it's like, you can't freaking go here unless you <clears throat> talk to someone. I don't disagree, but at the same time, it's one of those stop gaps to make sure you're not trying to bum rush the storyline. So? If I know where I gotta go, don't, like, like punish me. <laughs> don't make me have to talk to someone. Like, I, I get it. Leave me alone. Oh. Whee! I win. Interesting. I like how they... Did good job. It's kind of like forced perspective. We you lose. And nice. Oh, it's dogs or dinosaurs? No. Oh, it's the the machine things, but they're brown. Yeah. Okay. I thought they were dogs. I was like, I don't remember. That. No, that's not true. There, there's dogs in Mario. If you yeah. play Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64, there's, uh... Oh, what is his name? Spot. I think his name is actually Spot. It's this dog thing that helps out Yoshi. It sniffs around and it's like, I know where his secret is, and then you have to... Sometimes he's chained up, so you have to unchain him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember if his name was Spot, but he was adorable. We'd find him every time, we're like, oh my god, we found Spot, yay! <laughs> is that a spitter? It's a spitter. Oh my god. Oh! Would you care to share with the class what you sent me while mom and I were out at her appointment? That freaked me out. And then you proceeded to leave in the sink, in the kitchen. Oh yeah, it was a giant wolf spider. I, listen, I did not leave it in the sink. What literally happened was, I'm not dealing with it. But he left it to us to deal with. No, he should have got out of the sink. On his own, he's fine. <laughs> he got in there, he could get out. Exactly. I don't need to help him. The problem is they can't because of like the metal or whatever. Their their footed foots like they slide. Their little feeders. Their their footy foots. Actually, did you know spiders have paws? I know they have pads. They have paws. Like straight up, it looks like almost like a miniature cat foot. Or akin to it. It's that cute. Uh, Did you know this? If you didn't know this, you know it now. You're welcome. Doesn't change the fact that they are a little scary. <laughs> but that's more of like a, a, an, a generational instinctual fear of them. That's true. It's Well, to be fair, there are very, very... Large quantities of very poisonous spiders that... Right. Well, poisonous, venomous, whatever. If they bite you, the likeliness of you surviving was kind of slim to none at times. What? Is that just so you can fight the one up there? Kind of a weird place to... Or is that just so you can get back up? Oh, it's so you can get back up. Oh. Well, I guess that works. Hey, look at you! You're in places... Are you back in the sewer? Yes. Oh my god, please don't mess up. I will laugh at you. Cricket Jam, are you kidding me? Oh, you have to go back to Confucius. Yep. And be like, hey bro, got you this nasty bug jam. I wonder what it would give me for it. Um, <laughs> wise wisdom from an old frog. <laughs> Maybe he'll give me a better froggy stick. Maybe he'll give you a good tongue lashing. Just <laughs> quite literally take his tongue out and go whoosh. That's for your insolence, young tadpole. <laughs> Speaking of bug jam, uh, 
What's like the weirdest bug thing you've ever eaten? Uh, I mean, I've had a few. Um, I've had uh, the, the chocolate covered crickets. I've had chocolate covered ants. I've had uh, the lollipop with the scorpion in it. That was interesting. Uh, I don't think <clears throat> I did the lollipop with the scorpion, of which you can get this from sugar or it's sugar. Um, I've seen them there. There's also a fly variation, which I'm hoping those are clean flies because you, the scorpion, I understand to a point. Um, uh, it's sugar, and I think Hot Topic and Spencer's had like oddly flavored crickets that you could buy. I've not bought any of them. It's just it's gross. It's like seasoned in ranch, or some are like dusted in chipotle sauce, and it's like what the f ew. <laughs> That's I'm kind of curious though. It's one of those. It's I'm not curious enough. I I I think, but I cannot fully be quoted on this. I'm pretty sure I've had the chocolate covered ants. It's not like there isn't a like a certain amount of bug in our food, anyways. It, it does add on to the protein that we get. Yeah. But uh, just like eating a full bug is weird. As is this thing that you are now fighting. What is that? An Bellsprout Octavi has some new friends. Activator. The Activator. Dun, dun, dun. Nice. Oh, right, that's... Through. Oh, Ooh. good job. Welcome to the Sky Bridge. Oh, you have to not fuck that up. Wanna challenge it? No. Ah, oh, you got a chicken. What's the challenge do within a certain amount of time? Uh, they take off. Like right now, I can't mess up. Yeah. Oh, do they take away stuff? Oh no. There, you can. No, I'm saying is the challenge that they just make them all invisible and you have to guess where they are. <laughs> no, what happens is they uh, last for about two seconds and then they drop. No, thank you. <laughs> That's like freaking Crash Bandicoot bridge thing all over again. Uh, are you heading to Monstro Town? Alright, listen up. Look for the world where the ant pops up and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monstro Town's just around the corner. I'll see you there. Oh, well that makes things it's easy. It's a cute little mouse. Yeah, until it tries to beat you up and poison you. Does he? Yeah, you f we fought him before. Did we? Not was him it, specifically. Was it the same mouse? I was it was the say. same species. Oh, same. Well, oh, it's not here. That's not an ant thing. Oh my! Oh, there that... he is. So, yep. You have to it. fight him and then move on. Those are ants. Yeah. No. That doesn't look like ants. That looks like heartless thingies. They do kind of look like heartless thingies. The the soldier ones. They I'm do have about... to ask you a question though. I, I'm gonna. Hmm. Are we really? Really about to do this? Am I about to soldier through some puns with you? Well, they come up and they're like, Helmet, good sir. <laughs> I see your point, but cut it out. Listen. I did too. No matter what you do, <laughs> no matter what you do, you can't shield yourself from this joke. No. I was wondering when you were gonna say that. <laughs> Yay. Ah, that ant, that was weird. That was an ant. It was an uncle. Ah, you're just getting spirited away with all of these puns now. Oh, I'm sorry, you little sandy over here. A bit salty, but you know. Plus the pun in the truth. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much room for many new puns now, is there? <laughs> oh, but I'm... Oh, you're gonna get your just desert. Mm, cake. <laughs> we already fought the cake. Go away. Well, that's right. We didn't fight cake. Ew. That was... No, thank you. Ow. <laughs> I love that Bowser just picked up Mario. He's like, hold still. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's hilarious. All right, let's see. Now, I've never seen the ending. I've actually never seen this entire game before. So, I will love it. If more than anything, after everything that's been done, you beat the Smithy Gang, 
And Bowser's like, come here, Peach. <laughs> he freaking steals her and starts taking off. She's like, no! Mario! That would be legit funny. I need to be saved again! <laughs> I'm constant dancer in distress! Uh, Everybody's it's... after these tadpoos! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's after this cake recipe! Cause I'm the only one that knows how to fucking cook! <laughs> she just goes on and on and on with this monologue and Mara's like, Jesus Christ, woman, shut up! <laughs> All I ever get from you is cake and a kiss on my nose. <laughs> it's not worth it in the long run. I fucking fought a whole new ass gang. Turned into an RPG. What more do you expect from me? Thank you, and... Hey! Yeah. Oh, hello again. Isn't this incredible? It really does look like the edge of the world, doesn't it? It's too spooky for me. I'm in back to Monstro Town. See ya. Peace. Oh, wait, I thought you were heading to Monstro Town. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, no, I do have to hit Monstro Town, which means I gotta fight the ant. Yeah, there Give me it is. A little turd muffin. Got it. And. <laughs> Oh, they're surviving your attacks? Dude, I thought you were level 30. What happened? Um, I'm using a level 3 spell. Thunderbolt is I... the first skill he learns. Oh. <laughs> the reason I've been using it is that it literally costs two flower points. Oh, so you're not wasting all your MP. Exactly. So the fact they survive Whip out just the means Thundaga that they're already. strong enough. Yeah, no, that's like going, okay, thunder. Oh, wow, they survived. I got far enough in the game that something could survive my thunder spell. Whip okay. the Thundaga Thundara spell. and everything dies. Exactly. Just do it. He does have a stronger spell, though. Then do it. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Oh, mon 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 monstro, monstro, Not the whale. Yet. The whale. But we're getting there. From Pinocchio. Which can we talk about that movie? Ooh, yes, yes. That's a very terrifying movie. I haven't seen it since I was a small children. And if I remember correctly, I think they're Oops. making yet another live adaptation for it. Because there's been several throughout the years, and they're all terrifying. I don't care what anybody says. And to uh, be fair... It's a, a doll comes to life, and is a living doll-like thing for a while until it becomes a real boy. That's... No, that's reverse Chucky. <laughs> no thank you. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, But... Eh, I'll sell you one for... for what? I don't think that's the star. Nope, ready? He's a thieving thief. Oh. Nope. Wait, just a basic star for 400 coins? Uh, each one of these gives me coins. Oops. I don't care. Well, I mean, you normally sit at what, 999? Oh yeah, no, I'm probably- 400 coins? I'm probably flat broke right now. For a star? Jeebus. Thief? He quite literally is the egg thief from Spyro. No one can tell me different. Yeah, I've only got 245 coins Good right now. Good freaking job. What's that? Is that Lakitu? I don't know what that is. It's invisible. You missed. Set it on fire. He killed it. Look. D oh! It's a gassy thing. Oh, that kind of looks like there's this cloud thing you fight in uh, Yoshi's story. Kind of a jerk. You have to throw chickens at him. <laughs> well, no, you eat the chickens and then you throw the eggs at him. It's really funny. Kind of a pain in the ass for a boss, but whatever. I have no idea what this you have no guy idea. is. This your first time seeing him ever? Yeah, oh, he's he's not exactly now. difficult. He definitely had the health of a boss, though. Maybe he was just a random encounter? It looks like you're in like a pyramid. The shortcut will get you back to the surface. Oh, are you stuck? Oh, I was gonna say- WAIT! 
Do you have to pay it every time? Who is this thief? I don't appreciate him. I have no idea. Oh, he's the he's been the merchant the whole time. I don't care. He's a thief. You want your fortune told? Yeah, why not? See the three faces on the wall? Hit them in any order and you'll receive your fortune. What exactly are these? Oh my. You proceed through the pipe next door. Looks like you'll have a great meal sometime in the future. What? This is called Bellum's Ruins. Oh, the cat thing! Yeah. Are you, su you gonna fight him again? Did he survive? Oh god. Hey, look at that. I'm, I have so many questions. The newer bosses that they have in this one that like you never see in any other oh, yeah. Mario Bellum, thing is all of Smithy's bizarre. group. Well, clearly it's like um, Square Enix was like, here, you need some bosses? We'll make bosses. Oh, actually, Square Enix made their own boss in this game. The Smithy Gang. No. Really? The yellow tile will get you to the next room. Your fortune determines which room you're below. Below, 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 below and watch your tile will be just beyond. Okay, whatever. Not accepting visitors? What? Past my bedtime. Bellum? Yo! Is he gonna be a jerk and not let me fight him? Because you already punched him in the face? Oh, he's right there! Give me the key and what? I'll let you pass her. I don't have the key. Oh, are we here prematurely? How do you get the key? Uh... Oh, that's annoying. Is it you just have to get lucky? I have no idea. Do do I need to look up a walkthrough for this? If the game's gonna literally cock block me right now, I'm gonna be very angry. <laughs> Ooh, everybody watch out. Phoenix is starting to get a little peppery. Give me the key and I'll tell you. Wait. And I'll let you pass through. Literally, I don't have Wait, the key. Wait, you picked up a key, though. That was a shed key that allowed the villagers to get out. Oh, that's dumb. The yellow tile will get you to the next room. Your fortune determines. Do you need to go up over the statue? I'm so hungry. There we oh. go. Oh, wish I had something to eat. That's Bellum. Oh, so you okay, just had that to keep doing annoying. that until. That's dumb. <laughs> what a weird thing. If you fell off and landed right at the beginning of this and had to do that all over, I would actually point and laugh. Here we go. You look so tasty. I think I'll just have a snack. Ew, he licked you. Gross. <laughs> ah, that's Bellum for you. Like, Are you ready? Yep, yeah, go ahead. Hit him with your hardest spell. Yes! What? Fuck Bosses you, Bellum. have a higher resistance to abilities. I don't care. Fuck you, Bellum. Nice. I never forget a taste. In fact, I can clone someone after just one slurp. Watch. <laughs> Mmm, cotton candy boy. Oh no. Yes, this is yummy! <laughs> Mallow's just like, <laughs> You wouldn't believe what he did to me! Oh, wait. Oh. Would the copied Mallow know the exact skills and stuff that you know now and be the same level as you? Not same level. Oh. That would suck, <laughs> if it were the case. Oh no, not again. I'm starving. Time to go home for dinner. Goodbye, boys and girls. Oh, that was it. Yeah. And the copy of Mal is just still a problem. Okay. And attacking his own self. Right. Oh, 31. That's actually kind of impressive. And gone. Nice. And Mal goes... Get out like, of here. <laughs> Get out of here with that noise. Just the sound of rushing water. Whoosh. He's there like, not again. Ones. Oh, hello again. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monstro Town. I'll see you there. Interesting that this mouse is like, this is clearly Mario. We have an issue with him, but... No. No? No. Not, oh. not the monsters of Monstro Town. Interesting. What is that? It's a fan. 
Cute. Monster Mama. Oh my, a traveler from afar. Welcome to Monster Town, where many of our kind mingle. I'm the landlady, Monster Mama. Isn't she a shroom person? A star, you say? Oh, you're here to see our star. She's upstairs, so feel free to go and take a look for- What? That's not- What? What's our think? star? Yep. I don't think that's quite what- A mimic! Wait, is that a live star? Oh, that's not the same thing. She just dances. That's adorable. Yep. Uh, anything? Oh, yeah, this is going over, like, stuff you already know. Surprise boxes! 37 left! Get good, Scrub! You're missing out on all the treasure! What's wrong with you? And yeah, that's not the star we're looking for. Strangest person I met is this old geezer in Rosetown. He really is weird, but definitely worth meeting. That's fair. Mm. Pretty much everywhere you go, there's weird people. <laughs> so what do you think? Isn't our star adorable? She's so talented, too. Folks come to see her from afar. Not that one, you twit. Star bees? Oh, star bees! Nope, not familiar with them. So you came all the way out here to search for a star piece. Must be really important. This is the last place on land if you can't find it here. And the only place left is up. You better start growing some freaking wings there, Mario. Growing is the correct term, but not wings. Oh my god, do we become giant Mario and just like hoist ourselves up onto the next level? Remember the giant mushrooms? Come on, that's what it is! No. That's exactly what it is. No. Okay, fine, we do it with Bowser. Remember Luigi U where he oh, where yeah, where no. uh what's his face was like bling bling and Bowser was huge mongrous. That's what happens. Bowser scoops us up, sets us down, we hold on to like one of his claws and he shrinks down and we hoist him over. We're good. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're an open book. <laughs> Here's what you need to do. There's a secret passage to the sky at Bean Valley. Sounds tasty. You must scale the cliff beyond the desert. Oh, that's why you couldn't go up, because of storyline. I hate that. Yep. <laughs> Since you're such a nice guy, I'll introduce you to someone that can help you. He's a giant. You have to... <laughs> Oh, you're going to Beanstalk! I'm right. I'm so right. It's no. Beanstalk. It's giant magical Beanstalk. Isn't it? I think you're... Wait. Are you good to move? Whoa! What was our timing, guys? Uh, 8.52 seconds, Sergeant! Wow. Sky Troopers reporting for duty, ma'am. We're 0.52 seconds late. I hold myself personally accountable for the delay, ma'am. Still as rigid as ever about your rules and regulations. How stiff of you. No need to bother with the protocol around me, Sergeant. I've got a favor to ask you. Yes, ma'am. Anything we can do for a civilian? This fellow here really wants to get to the Bean Valley. You know what I mean? Could you help him scale the cliff? Understood, ma'am. The orders are, get mustache over the cliff. <laughs> we will succeed. We will now deploy ourselves to, to the cliff at the land's end. Troopers, keep a tight formation, because we are the best of the best of the best, sir. <laughs> nice man, black reference. Thank you. Yeah. We have liftoff. He's like, I never have to dust my house when they visit. They're odd, but trustworthy. Good luck with your search. Enjoy your time in Bean Valley. <laughs> ah, those multiple jumps here are pretty amazing. Boring stuff, whatever. Jump more than 30 times in a row and I'll give you a prize? Oh, babe, get good, scrub. <laughs> oh, please do. Yes! It's really weird. Sometimes I hear the guy next door. He always mumbling about a crystal this and evil that. Isn't a crystal some kind of a shiny rock or something? I know, I've seen those somewhere. Yee, the pranananana talks! I want yes. a pranananana plant. Oh, storyline. Side quest. Goomba! Just a minute, I'll be there in a second. Good freaking god, customers. Oh my! 
Uh... Goomba, what are you doing here? Uh... Bowser, it's been ages, hasn't it? Sorry about going AWOL on you. I ran away because I was scared to fight Smithy. A lot has happened since then, but look how far I've come. I'm managing the store now. Please don't freaking eat me. And look, here are my little ones. Come on, show your manners and greet Uncle Bowser. Oh, they're so tiny. He's got triplets. Hi, Yankee Bowser. <laughs> Although I can't fight for you, I still have some items you can use. Maybe you'll find it in your heart to forgive me and I can help you get equipped. <laughs> Please don't hurt us. Don't worry. I'm not angry with you now. I've got new troops, and we're going to reclaim my castle. You go on with your life here. I wish you the best. See, this is why I love Bowser. Soon dare as he may be, he's quite understanding. <gasps> what? Yes. Ooh, getting some new stuff for Bows. But, but Bows. Yep, we gotta give up that. Yes. Nice. And Ooh, yes. Oh. Love it. Bowser's a freaking tank, man. A spiky tank. <laughs> I know, right? He's I... like, hold still. Let's see. Oh? Feel free to rest here. Oh. Dang I it. remember this now. Oh, no. Should I be scared? No, this will be fun. This will be fun. Oh, yay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Nice to meet you. I'm Greepa. Hi, I'm the Big Boo. Oh my. And I'm, well, Dry Bones. We're the three musty, musty fears. fears. That's disgusting. He's sleeping. Dang it. Boy, he sure is. Check those bubbles coming out of his nose. I never understood that. What is the bubble supposed to be? Maybe he can still hear us while he's asleep. Is it snot? Hey, you. We want to play a round of Find the Flag. Right? We'll each hide a flag somewhere around the world. Oh, shoot. Yeah, find all the flags and you'll get an awesome prize. We'll go and hide the flags. Huzzah! See you when you get back. Okay, explain the bubbles to me. What do you think that's supposed to be? They'll be They'll back. Be I win. I have no idea what the bubbles are. I'm, I'm back. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, this one was yours. Okay, I hid my flag behind a wooden flower? Mm-hmm. I'm home. My flag's under a green bed. Mario's bed. Mm-hmm. I'm back. You'll never guess my spot. It's between an O and an A. Our flags are invisible, so search very carefully when you think you found the spot. Don't forget what we told you. Wait, the flags are invisible, so then how are you supposed to know that you found them? It'll say. Oh. Let's finish searching this town. Oh! Safe spot. Oh, interesting. What? For coming by? Yeah, now I oh, can. Oh, that was it. Oh, yep. okay. All right, ready? No, I'm not. I'm scared. The oh. three clues. Are you going to go find them now? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. Were a wooden rose. Yeah. A green bed, which you already figured out was Mario's bed. Right, because he's, he's the only green bed we've seen. Correct. And an O and an A. I don't know. The Yoshi race? That's correct. Okay, I was just... I was bullshitting on that one. And for the wooden flower, Rose Town? Ready? Yes. O and an A. Oh my god, I'm a genius. <laughs> I guess I was paying attention. Just a little. It took me forever the first time to figure out, like, where they all were. But yes. And actually, Rose Town was my hardest to find one. That makes sense, though, because it's like, where else would there be flowers? Oh... Oh my god. Nice. Yep. And then Mario's place is all the way back at the beginning. Holy crap. All right, it will stop by and uh, drop off the cricket jam. Oh yeah, might as well. Uh, what? Hey. <laughs> I kept Where pressing up and going? the game's like, no, down here, down here. No, I don't want to go there. See? Green bed. And the dry bones flag. Now, let us go 
Let's stop by the tadpole place, whatever the hell it was Yeah, called. go drop off some cricket jam. Really hope I actually have... That is for Con Frog Fuchsius, and we're not just well, like... No, it should be, because remember when we were at the wishing place? And someone's like, I want cricket jam. Oh, there you go. Read it. Hey, the delicious smell. You must have some cricket jam, yes? May I have some? Aww. This is wonderful. Thank you, Mario. You've made an old man happy. Here's a little allowance for being so good to me. Where's Mario now? Oh, there he is. Did he give you anything? You hear you can hear a sound of clicking. My wish has come true. Oh, yeah. Oh, he gave me frog coins. Oh. Seven of them. Okay, that's not bad. No, no, I won't complain. Though I do wonder with some of the wishes that were up there, if you can make some of them true. Because, like, Frog Fuchsia's was easy to make come true. He wanted Cricket Jam. There were other ones that were like, there... I want to be the greatest adventurer. Uh, maybe not all of them, but certain ones. Like, freaking, uh, there was a Yoshi one on there that wanted to win. Yeah. And... So, I, that's why I'm saying I have a feeling some of those wishes are like hints as to things you can do for like frog coins and whatever. Ready? Yes. We played their game of yeah, find the flag. did it quick too. That was amazing. Good job. You found all three flags. Yay. Hey, hey. you're not half bad. You did pretty well. We had a great time too. Thanks for playing our game. Now the grand prize giveaway! Drum roll, please! Da! Don't forget what we told you! What did they give you? Uh, ghost metal raises defense while attacking. Oh, yep. okay. Interesting. In other words, the more I attack things, the higher my defense goes. It'd be useful for, like, your final fight or something. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment your favorite part of today's episode, and subscribe for more Super Mario RPG and other content from Phoenix and myself. Do you like my sultry voice? <laughs> we'll, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye!